Now at um, the turn of Professor Douglas Vilhena, who is president of the Brazilian Congress of Neurovision and has published extensively on the effects of colored filters on reading. Douglas. I would like to thank Professor Emeritus Arnold Wilkes and the organizers from the University of Essex and the City of Digital Technologies for the invitation to participate in this panel, in this high-level panel, and it is an honor for me to be here with you today. I'm going to present the colored overlays, this published article in Perceptive and Motor Skills, Spectral Overlays for Reading Difficulties, Ocular Motor Function, and Reading Efficiency Among Children and Adolescents with Visual Stress. It was published in 2019 with Professor Marcia Reis Guimarães, Professor Stephen Lowe, and Professor Ricardo Guimarães here at the University, Federal University of Minas Gerais and Universidade do Porto in Portugal. We observed a children and adolescents with visual stress using um, eye tracking technology, the effects of self-selected spectral overlays on their reading related ocular motor skills. So here we are in Belo Horizonte, Minas Gerais, Brazil. The study was a approved by the Federal University of Minas Gerais, and it was developed here at the Department of Neurovision at the Eye Hospital of Minas Gerais. So we had two groups, the first one children and the second uh, adolescents. The first one had 184 children from eight to 12 years old, and the adolescents 139 participants. All of them had self-reported visual distortions while reading and the reduction of distortions when viewing text through an overlay. All of them were assessed with clinical ophthalmologists to confirm this visual stress. All of them had good binocular visual acuity, so it's now in chart 2020 or better, and no um, uh, color visual deficits. All that had good text comprehension to assure the eye tracking was correct and no extreme anomaly on the eye tracking. So we use the Visagraph Trace Eye Movement Recording System that acts as the ocular fixations, the ocular regressions, span of recognition, reading rate, relative efficiency, and comprehension. First of all, the ocular fixation were calculated as the number of pauses per 100 words, and the regression was the right to left movement per 100 words. This is the main result of the article that I'm going to divide to explain. First, I'm going to talk about the results from children. All of them were statistically significant with small to moderate effect. So children increase, uh, decreased in 21% the number of eye fixations when reading with the use of spectral overlays. Also, they decreased the number of regressions and increased the number of span of recognition, reading rate, relative efficient, and comprehension. The same was observed with the adolescents. All of them presented statistically significant results and a uh, small to moderate effect. To explain a little bit more with the graphs instead of the table. First, the ocular fixations, which was reduced in 21% of the children and 13% in adolescents with the use of the spectral overlays compared with the baseline without the overlay. This same occurred with the regression movement with the, with the movement backwards. It was reduced 26% in children and 19% in the adolescents. Concerning the span of recognition, 
it was increased in 24% in children and 80% in adolescents. So this is the amount of information perceived in each eye fixations. So uh, it increased the amount of letters that could be perceived by the children and the adolescents with the overlays. Here are the three other results. The reading rate also increased uh, in both groups. The relative efficiency, which is considered the most significant result here in this study, as it integrates three other variables. It is the reading rate divided by the number of fixations plus the regressions. So it merges three variables in one. And with the use of spectral overlays, the relative efficiency to read with the eye tracker increased 60% in children and 48% in adolescents. The same occurred with the text comprehension. However, we need to note that as it was included, the exclusion criteria for text comprehension lower than 70%, we only had a small margin of comprehension uh, in our sample. And even with the small margin, we were able to detect this increasing text comprehension. To conclude this study, uh, we identified immediate and significant improvement in six ocular motor and reading parameters when reading, when children and adolescents with visual stress read with self-selected spectral overlays compared with their baseline results. So with overlays, we identify decrease in the number of fixation and regressions. And it is important to highlight that this decrease was greater in children compared to adolescents. This probably is due to children start with a worse baseline than adolescents, so, so they have more to gain in the, uh, in the decrease of the number of fixation and regressions. And it was identified an increase in the span of recognition, in this, the reading rate, the number of words read per minute, the relative efficiency, and the text comprehension. So thank you very much, Professor Led Zano Wilkins. The first one is for uh, Douglas, please. Um, in your article, why did you find an age effect in the eye tracking results under overlays? Uh, thank you for this question. Probably this effect was due to the low baseline that children have. They have worse scores to start the eye tracking. So the adolescents start at a higher baseline. So they have little to gain with the in amount of number of fixations per minute. And children will have more, statistically more, to, to gain with the spectral overlays intervention. Thank, thank you, Douglas. 